Hey, Sarah, I'm Pete Gilbert. We are joined now by Eric Almlin, who is from MedStar Health. He's our race doc. And good morning, Eric. How you doing? Good morning. How are you? Very so well. So, Eric, thanks. it's a little chilly for the spectators, <laughs> but for the by racers, spectators she means us. Uh, <laughs> um, but for the racers, this is very important that they don't get too hot. Can you talk to us about why this is such a great temperature for the runners? Yeah, this is a uh, great weather. Uh, 65 degrees, I think, is the high today. Um, so we factor in when we're looking at the weather for a race. We're looking at the humidity. We're looking Looking at uh, the, how much radiant heat we're getting from the sun and the wind, and putting that together to get—I don't know if you're familiar with the wet bulb globe yeah. temperature. And Ava so Marie, the, our meteorologist, <laughs> explained that to us. Yeah, we, so yeah. we have a whole uh, way of um, of uh, rating that, whether it's green, yellow, red, that we can get that information out to the runners. But uh, but today is looking to be green all day long. So. And even so, you know, when you're going to put your body through what these runners are doing, there will be there will be things with which to deal. How many people do you expect to treat on a day like this, even in ideal conditions? So we'll see upwards of 400 runners in our medical tents uh, throughout the day across the course and in the finish line tent here today. What is the biggest issue? Usually it's uh, cramping, a little bit of dizziness, nausea, vomiting, but every once in a while we'll get someone who's critically sick. Even on a day like today, we can still see some heat stroke. You're going to see 400 different people. That means, I mean, how many people does it take on your staff to go ahead and be ready? Because 400 is what you may expect. You may see more. How do you prepare for that? Well, we have a, we have a, a, a huge team with us today. We have over 100 volunteers with us, anyone from doctors and nurses from the MedStar Health System uh, to uh, we have uh, volunteers from both uh, uh, Towson's uh, athletic training program and Howard County's um, EMS program here with us. Volunteers, I mean, they make yeah. this event yeah. go. For sure. And if you are planning on running a marathon, you maybe should check with your doctor, would be a good idea <laughs> before yes, of you course. plan You'll, to yeah. train. Yep, you always, if you have any type of potential for any chronic medical conditions, you should talk with your doctor before going out and running 26.2 miles. <laughs> or for, in, our, in my case, the 5K, probably sure. check with yeah. the doctor as well. Thank you so much. We yeah. appreciate it, Eric. You bet. Thanks for having me. All right. Please stay with us. Still much more to come here on the Baltimore Running Festival, the marathon. There's Jeremy Ardenoy. He continues to comfortably lead. We'll see if he can hold on to that. He's got a long way yet to go, though, on pace, though, for a personal best. Stay tuned.